Return to sender. Return to sender. All right, guys, let's get back into this message here. This is part two. We're now going to get in with the cards. Return it again. Mm -hmm. See a swimming pool here. I see that <clears throat> someone is trying to confuse you and throw you off. Yeah. Uh, they want to switch something around. Um, they're trying to like convince you that this is the proper or the right way to handle the situation, but it's not. I'm seeing grocery bags here. Something about a farm. Yeah. Some of this has to do with investment. Like you're thinking that this investment is going to make uh, things easier here for you, but it's actually much more challenging. Um, I'm kind of getting a little bit of this energy of, um, like a company selling you on a service even, but it's, uh, there's more fine print. Yeah, this guy's like running. Kind of like hobbling. Straight up has his car with flashers in the alley. The street or over. Um, and he's like staggering back and forth. So something is gonna be a pain in the ass. I wouldn't um I wouldn't give this your time, is what I'm hearing, um, or attention. It could be an over overall psychology. I'm hearing rain. Yeah, it's like propaganda. Um... You could be reading something. It's just, I feel like there's so much that is not obvious in that document. I see a bowling alley here. King of Wands. Mm. This has to do with you and another person. I'm hearing Bran, B-R-A-N. Someone is a Virgo. Hi, guys. I'm hearing Vidi. Yeah, someone's filming you, but they're pretending like they're not. Some of you also, the Three of Wands, Someone could be pretending they don't know you, but they t they do know you. But they're pretending like, oh, I never heard of you. Meanwhile, they got a little camera out on you. They know who you are. The world. Some of you are famous. Some of you, it's your employer. That's weird, but yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Hi, baby. You guys, this is going to make your life complicated. Something about spaghetti. You don't need to return the energy. You don't need to invest in this person. Guys, this person set up 100%. Someone's cousin. I'm here in Lily. I'm here in Peach Ruse. Here we go again with that language, a foreign language. I don't know what language that is. It was coming through in the earlier part of this video tonight. Yeah, guys, like, they all talked about you already. And they're acting kind of um, like, oh, hi, what do you do for a living? But they fully know you. <laughs> yeah, they know what you do. I'm here on what you're up to. They could be following you. 
Yep, they're acting like it's a huge surprise. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Never heard of it. It's like, yeah, right. So, I mean, this is an employer. He, like, Googled you heavily. Yeah, but I get, like, a catfish energy. Yeah, guys, they want to do pornos with you. This is coming through again. You, some of you have children. They scouted you out on, an, on a dating app, even. Some of you, you are Latino, Latina, Latina. You know what I mean. They are, yeah, they're looking at you like you would fit the bill. I mean, you're in magic money. Maybe someone's username. King of Cups. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some of you, I'm really sorry to have to say this, but like your friends set them up with you. It's not even the masculine, it's someone else. There's a woman behind this, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, giving me matchmaker energy. Could be an app, even, yeah. <sighs> someone got their hands all up in this with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, I see a parrot, like some kind of parakeet with feathers, like Birdcage, that movie. I don't know what that has to do with that. Um, okay, but anyways, yeah, it's not about me. <laughs> Just, if it's your message, you'll understand, I guess. Maybe you want to well, yeah, um, return it. You want to watch this. Um, yeah, really meditate on this. So, God, wow. Yeah, she gave them your information. She outed you, whoever this is, Queen of Swords. Can I make an example? For those of you who didn't watch for part one, I keep seeing a pool. I'm here in Splash Splash, so as well. Um, you have a friend, let's say a feminine friend. Uh, this person, and let's say you're a feminine. This feminine friend discreetly went and gave your, um, I'm hearing something about olive tone skin. Guys, I think she's in on it f with the f money. Yeah, she has a some kind of benefit from whatever this is. She's scouting people. What? Oh. I'm seeing feathers, and I see a Q-tip. She's scouting people to send to these two, to this one young guy. Remember the young guy? There was a young guy. Then there's an older man who's heavier set. Remember that guy, the Seven of Swords and Three of Swords, good dude, with the King of Pentacles. It's like they're in this little circle. It's it's awkward. Um, she is involved in this. Thank you, Amber, for your super chat. Clearing the crown chakra. I'm here in Seven Eleven. She sets you up with them. She's like your friend or something. Like, psh, I know, like, where she's at. She gave them your direct inform. She knows that those dudes are looking for someone to present in a pornography video or something. She's, like, kind of, um, I mean, or she's circling around the block, gathering all the honeys up. I hear that. The hell in the crown. I keep hearing seven. Yeah, right there are seven of wands. She's fully on the street. Like, she, I don't know what that means for everyone, but she's... She... It's like, no one would think it's her, though. That's the thing. Oh, man. What's going on here, guys? See, she's amongst the crowd of guys. But then she's also amongst the girls. It sounds weird to describe it like that, but maybe it's a metaphor. But I think this is a... This is a direct message. So yeah, she's definitely getting, it's a clout thing, but she also, um, I see ice cream. Yeah, she gave even your very intimate details away. I mean, she told them what you're like, Cause see, the thing I'm getting is that she was supposed to be a good friend to you. But it's almost like she sabotaged you or your privacy or something. She disclosed your personal information. 
she gave them tips or hints even what in the i'm hearing andy something about neanderthals the full moon is very intense eight of swords yeah i mean this person is setting you up do you know who this is this person is like the middle woman yeah but she's totally, totally incognito. You would never imagine. Like, no one has figured this out. I feel you probably don't know. Some of you still don't know who this is. She's literally sitting around you like one of your besties or some shit. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing the number two and six. Some of you, you went for, like, you got a drink with this person. You divulged everything, and then she reported to these two dudes on everything. It was intimate stuff, I hear that. I don't know. Gods. She's setting you up with them, and then you're just like, that's weird. How do they know that I like that drink, or that I'm there, or I'm here? Oh, shoot. This is horrible, y'all. I'm sorry to have to, yeah. We were talking about that in part one. Please forward this message if you know anyone who could use it, you know. Uh, the name Angelina was coming through earlier. Angelica or Angelina. Someone was Russian. Somebody about New York. Somebody about Brooklyn. I see this woman has a stone cold face. Um, she looks very Queen of Swords. She's kind of giving me cold Leo. A cold Leo. Uh, woman. She kind of has no remorse, is what I... I'm getting that, yeah. Return. She has no regret. Yeah, look right there. And the Aquarius. That would make sense. She could be Aquarius Leo. Return it. Aquarius Leo. Yes, yeah, she fully has... She maybe thinks she's cool talking to these guys. Someone's a rapper, I'm hearing that. They're rappers. She she has like a little cool little earpiece in her ear. Uh, thinking she's very interesting. Uh, reporting live, yeah, to these dudes. She's kind of um, totally, totally uh, singled out though. Like she's that token, she's that token, I don't even know, that just doesn't really, she, I mean, honestly, behind the scenes, these dudes would be making so much fun of her. But anyways, they're using her. I'm here in Tobias, Toby. So, you guys, wow, a few people from New York. In part one, there was a city or a district we were trying to, it was coming to mind, but faintly. Um, it started with the D. It was somewhere in Long Island. I remember it's somewhere you, it's off of the stop on this, yeah, in the train. It's like Dormeister or something like that. Anyways, um, okay. Yeah, this person, this girl's gonna invite you. Like, she's gonna set it up, like, God, this sounds like, I'm hearing something about Jilly Fallon. Divorce from the dark, bitch, because I made peace with my own light. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that's not the worst of all compliments. If you're gonna try to throw one at you, okay, because you're just throwing it back at you because we gonna return to send her, mm-hmm. You might as well say, shoot, I'm still with that dude. Think, I mean, a divorce? That's for liberty and justice for all. That's a blessing. If you need to get a divorce and you get one, that's a, you know how many women they cannot divorce? Y'all giving me compliments, ho. Now back to it. These people don't know how to do no fucking trolling over here, apparently. I got a troll for you. <laughs> how much are they paying you to come around here and troll like that? I'm going to be giving you some ideas, okay, for your the next time. Make a new little username. You can go back next time. Say something like, you look like you tried to get divorced, but you couldn't. It's like something, at least say that. Shit, just like off. Off yourself. I don't know. Whoa, shoot. <laughs> My guy's not playing. Anyways, I'm going to move on from your keyboard because <laughs> I just took it over for a second. How? Oh, okay, anyways. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. Oh, wrong season. It's a season of love, not not of shadow, and and I'm here in short shorthand like notes that don't pass the test, bitch. Anyways, because the professor's in class. Um. <laughs> Whew! Okay, Ace of Swords of the Chariot. Um. 
And the pen is out. What? And it's red, too. <laughs> it's because of my fire moon, Sagittarius. Anyways. Um. No. It's over. Something about October. Thank you so much, Alexa. Thank you so much for your super chat for showing up. Um, yeah, so we were saying, okay, that this is definitely, yeah, so I'm here in Chosen. Um, what were we saying? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Okay, okay. The guides are not, the guides are not, they're not, um, they're not feeling, yeah, your hairline tonight. So, so go easy on yourselves there. Okay. The Six of Wands and the Five of Wands. Now, yeah, so some of you, though, whoever this is, like, this person's like, oh, man, I'm not going to say half the things I'm hearing. Um, season. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, thank you for jogging my memory, Andre. Yeah. Um, return it. Not the right season. Right. So... Some of you here, like, also, there's this, this bitch, whoever this, I'm sorry, I'm gonna just say it like that, because I'm hearing that, like, whoever this is, I think other people would be calling this person, that name or whatever, that word, okay, like, they're not, yeah, just clear them. So, whoever this is, guys, they, they knew that you were gonna get some kind of, um, something about a talent agent, what in the hybrid of uh epstein and his the woman or whatever meets like um freaking uh love it light Aaliyah. lord okay so now here she is again guys like the queen of ooh. She has a she has a bitterness against her own gender, so she decided to join. I uh, keep hearing something about Jilly, Jimmy Fallon. Jilly Fallon, <laughs> the higher font. Yeah, she thinks it's like she's turning a bit maybe butch. She's turning into like one of the guys, but she, love him. Love, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. It's not really. It's not inherently funny. But I'm just seeing this person because she's thinking she's cool. It's like she's kind of becoming one of the guys, but she's in a gang with these guys, is what I hear. But she's kind of see, she's not really fully integrated into the whole, like, um, it's a little dorky. I don't know how to describe this, guys. Yeah. It's like she's not quite, she's also up in this, like, fucked up, guys, Ada Soros. She's also, you know, there's something going on with her, too. It's like, I mean, don't think that she's uh, all, um perpetrating over here she's quite she's quite deluded herself she thinks she's in the know she's not in the know but she assists those who do know and they're it, like she thinks she's perfectly on the same plane with these guys no 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 like they totally have her she is like there is a minion for every minion how do we say this like she's a minion oh god dorkarella <laughs> So, I'm hearing don't trust her. So, yeah, Spirit is trying to tell you, like, this person is not an ally. But she's kind of, yeah, she's giving me mean girls. But it's not mean girls, it's mean girl. It's like, she's just one. She's, she, I'm telling you, she's that one token, like, girl. But it's Queen of Swords, and she's robotic, and she's cold. Um, I got a super strong Leo, where she's kind of, something happened, yeah, where she's not in she's not in love anymore so something happened to her maybe she's divorced maybe that's a that's a message you know that troll was trying to give a message as best as they could um yeah so um you'll up divorce it's like yeah maybe they were trying to channel um and they were trying to you know yeah no she she's divorced okay so if we were to translate the troll jibberjarble to into English, because that's the primary language we're speaking here, it would equate to, I would think, more or less, that she probably was divorced and she's bitter, and she doesn't really like men, she doesn't really like women, she's kind of sitting there like, 
butch on there when she's <laughs> sitting there. What? I don't know. I think people laugh. I'm not laughing at. So, yeah, yeah. But this is someone I feel who has garnered a lot of attention. A lot of people don't like this person. She's sitting like in between. Like she thinks she's kind of hot or something, but she's not wanting to be hot for nobody. She's so preoccupied with vengeance and she's bitter. Um, or they are. Maybe it's a they. I don't, I really don't know. Yeah. But maybe it's an energy thing. It's, it's, it's the general energy. Like she's not really, she doesn't, she's not sophisticated. That's the energy I want to get. Yeah. She's naive. Mm -hmm. But she thinks she's, she stopped real quick at like, oh shit, they call me back. All right. I'm going to try, you know, she's jealous of you. Mm -hmm. So she's trying to be that butch middleman. I don't know. Maybe it's not a woman. Maybe it's a masculine. But he's kind of in between. Maybe it's a metaphor. Again, like it may not actually be, and I'm not saying the gen sexual orientation wise, I'm just saying the general, fr maybe they these guys call her a butch. Um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. This is like crazy. I never ever read on something like that. Interesting. Temperance. Yeah. Like she, how do we say? It's more she's not in the know. She's not actually involved it's like they're using her it's like marketing you know it's like they're marketing they're marketing to her that she should be a minion and she thinks she's the most impact she thinks she's an amazing minion oh my god yeah but she's really confused she's fucked she's fucked by them too like they're also messing with her i don't know what that's about some of you she's on drugs as well so i mean run something about alabaster could go way back yeah she has a crush on one of these dudes it's like a slave owner it's like he she wants to she thinks she's very powerful behind the scenes assisting him to try and enslave you again from a past life possibly but it's like in the meantime she looks like frog with the aid of swords and she smells like frog and she sits like one too. And I don't know, I just keep hearing something butch. So she keeps sitting, yeah, I see her sitting like, it's like, she, I see a degenerate energy, love and light. I see someone a bit just low frequency. Well, I'm not saying something about your orientation. I'm saying the frequency. This person is very low vibrational and they don't even know it. It's like, they cannot tell, but they, they're getting by with something very small, very little. Yeah, they're working very hard. They think they're like the best minion. I keep hearing that. She maybe thinks she, they really got her to believe. Yeah, she thinks she's very powerful. But the impact she makes is kind of like, it's actually going backwards. So, and they all know that they're using her. So just so you know, I don't know. Some of you need to, it's honestly embarrassing. Like they, yeah. Cause I think she, I don't know, whatever it is. Like they fully, if they were going to pay her, I'm hearing cash buyout. Some of you, they have braces. I don't know. Uh, if they really paid them for a cash buyout, they actually ended up, like, this person wouldn't know the difference between them charging her and paying her. And so she's kind of like, as long as she's involved with them, she feels kind of cool and like master mouse-ish. Okay, this person has got to go. So the king of want, return it. Well, yeah, she likes just being, reporting to the master head mouse. She likes to come into the little master med, yeah. She likes to feel like one of the guys. I, I don't know, it's a gender thing, it sounds like. Because I see this woman reporting, it's like she likes to go into the room and she just likes to be called up. So it sounds like she has trauma that's unhealed and she's living in her shadow with these masculines. Yeah, whoever these masculines are, the two of pentacles, it's two masculines. Some of you, she's also hooking up. She thinks that behind the scenes, she has some kind of very strong and powerful connection with one of these two of, of the men as well. So some of you don't realize, but the person you're kind of interested, you're, you're starting to possibly try something with is actually hooking up with your so-called best friend okay so yeah she thinks she's kind of yeah a lot of cycle like, oh this is all neptune and like pluto shadow oh my god it's this like twisted like i have this power behind the scenes it's like very slothy very smeagol it's very like my branches but it's not convincing it's like if she were to even audition for that role i don't even think she would get that role guys they would just be like, nah, I think, nah. <laughs> All right, this is, it's like she thinks she's singing falsetto all or nothing at all. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying I'm a singer or not, but.
I definitely didn't sing that. That was channeled. That was her energy. So, um, I'm here in Samantha Rocks. Maybe she's even drawing on her notebook her own name, like, in circles and hearts and, like, squiggly lines and, um, you know, hey, Alonzo. It's like, the Seven of Cups, like, it's giving me even, like, she's not clicking it. There's a social cue thing. Maybe there is a high-spectrum autism. I'm not sure. It's like she thinks she's singing, like, very loud. But it's like, you know, anyways. It's giving me childish and young and, and very, um, honestly, just low vibrational. So they know that, though, and they're coaching that. They're coaching her psychology so she feels big when she's really small, if you know what I mean. Yeah? So now, to continue, they definitely have her wound up around the cheese. Now, the whole irony here is that... You know, some of you here, yeah, they really want you. They don't want her. However, she is in the middle of this. And she feels kind of cool that she's kind of stringing you around. Like, she's maybe feeling even employed, guys. They may be paying her, but they're not actually paying her. And it's kind of giving me the boss you work for who ends up becoming, who, who ends up befriending you. So that if they can't pay you really on the spot, it'll be cool right between us. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And I feel like she... Uh, is kind of like so-called going she's fuck guys this person I, I think that they, she possibly is on a drug with the seven of cups they probably did uh there's something skewed in terms of her perspective maybe she did abuse drugs at a certain point the, the discernment factor is not that is just not two of swords on the seven of cups i wouldn't want her running no gps anywhere the page of wands it's like going in circles and circles um something about drug money so now but i don't know some of you are like friends with this person or something like that or this person um yeah I see a circus. Like they, she wanted to paint a picture of you. I've clearly get front of me. This is more than just I'm gossiping. She's really set up. So this return it, the hangman. Yeah. Something about 7-Eleven. She wanted you to like show up somewhere and then she wanted to tell them to be there. And then like she felt very like cool as fuck. I don't know how to describe this. She wanted you to bump into these other two guys. Wow. Yeah, look at that King of Swords. Oh, this is the T. Capital. When we cross, we cross the T if it's, if it's not capital, but it is capital. And so we're going to put a point as well at the end of that. And we're going to make sure we dot. We dot the I's. We'll take, yeah, that dot. We put the point as at the end of the capital. We're just going to go with the I, the dot. Make sure if we ever do have an I, it's like, this person is jealous that you maybe did have something real with mm -hmm, we'll return it some of you mm, this is the past life mm, whatever that's not important the important thing here though is that yeah um she wants to feel that you don't have sovereignty which is a fucked up person this person is fucked up they're honestly probably actually on a drug yeah they are because there's no they're not in a capacity to have also compassion is what i'm hearing Okay, to have compassion. Yeah. Um, we're not handling stalkers, okay? So just saying. Um, yeah, so this is, no. Like this person, um, they are, you hear that ambulance? Clear it on the back, return it. I'm here in Angelina again, I hear it again. You're not coming in here and distracting. Someone here is gonna, yep, see the seven of swords with the wheel of fortune. They're all in it together. I'm seeing Hebrew writing here. The world's in reverse. So yeah, they, yeah, definitely she's under the influence. They're pretending, hey, we're like gonna hang out and like smoke and chill. I hear something about a thong. She thinks now it's like flirting. Do you guys see the energy? Like she thought that it was all like at first, she is professional. Then she, something with the drug use. And then, um, no, like then she's starting to think that maybe we're slowly, um, 
this is the kind of per person that would run a business to shit because her because she's into someone who works there and it's like not talking to customers anymore when they walk in because she's too busy turning her head to flirt with uh whoever this dude is the manager anyways it's like that type of energy yeah so this is um uh, yeah so she's like now thinking maybe she's actually got like a connection with this dude he's doing that on purpose to wind her up so that she's um feels indebted to him okay so in the reality she's really like his slave but the irony is she's trying to like get you it's like she's trying to have like commissions on slaves it's like ancient slave ownership oh horrible you know probably was yeah five of pentacles see she thinks she's interesting like giving your information to this guy i don't know why she feels so like interesting to him even hmm i don't know what that's about you know it's like she likes to run back like you know she, it's like it's like farmville in 3d 3d farmville she feels like i'm gonna help him plow we got our own farm we're gonna get our own slaves it's like this is horrible anyways so it's the different kind of farmville it's not just growing crops it's yeah it's all the weird stuff that takes place on the farm and the property itself now so with the seven of cups the two of swords again okay i see this person kind of not coherent though a lot of the time and i don't feel that they're really um like i don't see them grounded i mean we're in dimitri yeah Sometimes this guy even, like, gives her a kiss. Anything to keep her in check, I'm hearing that, whatever that means. So, yeah, I see this group of guys. They're acting very bro-ish. Like, it's like they're making her feel like she has even a home. I'm hearing that. I don't know. Five wands. This makes you think of that one, that one read. It was a Virgo Cancer read during October with the long table with the pickled eyeball dude. Mm-hmm. And there was that girl that was walking around. She was a little young. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, oh, that's weird. Why they're kissing like that on the cheek. And like the minute she walked in, everything was strange a little bit. Yeah. Here we go again. See, this? she's not able to discern what's this energy. The queen. Return. We know. But she doesn't. See, that's the thing. She's not aware. She thinks she's aware. But we see her not being aware. And so there's something kind of silly and slanderous even sitting around her and her name. I think they set her up. They blackmailed her as well. The Ten of Cups. Yep, that's exactly what happened. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm here in Rose Rosa. Like, she doesn't have the real facts. She thinks she has all the information on these guys. And she kind of feels like very, uh, I keep hearing, special or important. Like, she thinks she has real deets on them. She thinks that they're all vulnerable with each other. No, no. Like, these guys, I repeat, maybe they're even pretending that they're all doing drugs together. So she has trust with them. But they're whatever they're doing that's not drugged but hers is and so they're all kind of looking at her and laughing oh, this is a big dish yeah whoa so and she's making a whole fool of herself and they also have video of her looking like a whole fool so they can blackmail her if she ever needs if if, if they ever need her i don't know because she's this one but you know they're not worried about her they're telling her to wipe some computer down yeah so anyways um this is just like, ooh, now the Eight of Swords and the Hangman and the King, yeah, so, yep. She's their minion slave. So, and the reality is that that's kind of what's, that's what's going on. If you don't end up manifesting this, which I don't think you would, the, she would end up as their token, sort of, you know, yeah. And this is just super awkward, because I don't even see, like, real attraction. I see this just mindlessness with this queen i mean this is nothing like what even i mean no some of you that she's almost like destitute and then i see um this quasi hookup return it in the sacral chakra that's making me think of a song I'm trying to stay relevant um there's a song I just saw uh, your comment there. We rap into state relevant. What's that song? Anyways, now, um, yeah, I see sometimes like this whole little game has turned into her whole world and they see her as very small. Um, and then they ended up trashing her news story. They told her that we would publish your news. They were, I'm telling you, it's like when a company tries to hype you up so you work really hard for them. 
and then they deliver very little to you. That's the energy. Yeah, fake friends. So the frenemy was really between that amongst them. Now, I repeat, two guys were involved here. Three, and they were they were maybe promising her, but I think for her, it's 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 more her trauma. Like she wanted to kind of be. Um, some of you, she's into you even. I don't know. Like something is going on with that. Uh, she wants to trip trip you up like she likes to maybe feel like cool i don't know anymore this is just getting strange i think she wants to even be like literally one of the guys maybe she really is like i don't know anymore guys um she feels this is better than uh like being her own story some of you yeah okay so oh man i think that they're all on drugs guys whoever these people are now let's move on return to the crown in the crown chakra i read that as addict they could have gotten her addicted to something as well and they so they did that so that they were acting like oh we're all hanging out doing this drug so that we have we form bonding she felt very important like wow they were giving her that drug for free um and then she got hooked on it and they were her job they were paying her and they were more or less everything to her at that time this is complete um invert this is to every form of blackmail and abuse all right so wow that felt like a, a earthquake so then uh as she became addicted to whatever that was she became dependent on them she had to you know and so this is a big issue guys yeah this is a huge issue but anyways it is yeah and i see this guy whoever this is that's how he started to control her it went from we're pit yeah so he's a total mess whoever this is whoever the middle the real middleman is because that see that it's a young dude who's connected to that heftier heavier dude uh whoever that guy is okay who's this uh maybe he was divorced okay so maybe he's i'm hearing kayla kaylee I mean, no, we're just going to switch tonight. Like, it was weird because you went even to dinner and then suddenly this other guy was there and it's like, well, what are you doing here? Someone switched, like, someone up. Um, you thought maybe even you were going on a date. Anyways, the Ten of Wands. They could have met this person on a dating app. These two, they could have met on a dating app. I hear something about water. Yeah, so they all talked about you. I don't know if you did hang out with this person. I'm here in veteran. However, I'm here in Vidi Vidi Vici as well. If you did, return it. If you did, they all talked right before. I see a black limousine in a cab. It's always weird when you see a taxi cab these days. Um, even weirder, sorry, but like when I see people actually hailing a cab, it's like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> I feel like I gotta take a picture of it. Anyways, okay. I'm not saying that we should support Uber and Lyft and all these. But anyways. Just returned on that. I can't even remember the last time I took an Uber. Okay. So. So they all talked about like your fears. If you were talking flirtatiously with this younger man, um, she knew a lot about you through him. Return in the crown chakra. I don't even know who this is gonna relate to, but oh well. I know someone, okay, but return it. Amir and remember? Yeah, he was telling her before she was gonna hang out with you remember to say this don't forget to say this yeah so they all kind of strategize or whatever but i why do i keep seeing this whoever she is bobbing in and out you know it's like there's not maybe, maybe she is on even like a medication or something maybe it's even like an add like she's not really focused anyway so we have the seven six of cups with this yeah it gives me like 
women in black. Like, a, I just keep hearing butch. Like, a butch. I don't know why I'm even hearing model. A butch. A butch. I remember Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, whatever. Like, she, whoever this is, like, I see this guy in a red raincoat jacket with a red hood. Whoever this is, like, she has, she kind of acted like she didn't have vested interest. Like, she wanted to play neutral. Hence, maybe why we're seeing, I'm almost seeing even, like, platonic. Like, not being into either gender, you know? Like, it's almost like she doesn't... She's, like, militant or something. Maybe she promised, you know? I'm not gonna get emotionally involved. And that makes me think of that one Capricorn reading with the Taurus and the yellow bumblebee car where it was someone's cousin or something. And, yeah, remember that guy? He went up to her and he didn't want to really, like, talk to her. He was at the table and it was a setup. It was a Pisces reading. Amirin Victorian. Now, some of you, maybe they dress a bit tomboyish. Like, actually, I see this woman looking a bit haggardly, a vagabond. She's walking around, looks a little bit like a gypsy, wandering gypsy. All right, guys. Anything else? What do we need to know? I see someone on a keyboard. Yes, yeah, so you're the Empress. Yeah, she's like a Queen of Wands, maybe? And you're like an Empress. Some of you, be careful if you have money. They could be setting you up to blackmail you. Like, getting you in a situation where maybe, you know... You would be filmed. And they're all, I repeat, you know, it's not just this masculine. It's like, and that's why I'm seeing it coming from this feminine. Like, it's almost like she gets part of that money because it's a bid. Like, she assisted in that in some way. Yeah, I think you have a separate friend who warned you and was like, eh, I don't really get a good energy on this person. Maybe you have a friend who did a reading for you. I see a friend here, like someone who is very concerned uh, for you in this circumstance. They were telling you, don't, don't, don't get involved here. Um, that's how you know, I guess, who this is. I'm Erwin Demetrius. Just return it. Just return it. Something about a covenant. Covenant. Yeah, she's saying they're related. So be very careful. I hear that again. Um. Yeah, but then sometimes I see her. Uh, sometimes she's at this guy's house. See, if you ever had a weird feeling about two people, like either maybe you even brought your friend over to this person's house and you just got this energy that they already knew each other or like something you know return it the body language i'm seeing a buddhist monk here you could feel some strange overlap it wasn't normal maybe even she knew her way kind of around this neighborhood or her or their house or there was something that piqued your mind about that something about someone's relative some of you they even lied and said no he's my relative but they actually hooked up something but a phone number you gave someone a phone number i'm here in nine 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 guys some of you can even be an alias yeah because Maybe that's why we're getting this inanimate energy of this Queen of Swords. It's almost like invisible or something. 
but she's there. So some of you, it is like a person, maybe they used her identity to contact you and here you are thinking you're talking to Michelle. I'm hearing something about Mich Misha Barden. What's with all the actor names? I don't know, no. Something about Naomi. What's that lady's name? She's a uh, model. Anyways, disclaimer, you know, we don't know. I don't know, maybe someone looks like that, but like looks like Naomi or looks like Misha Barden. I, we, you know, but anyways, I'm here an ID card. Yeah, you saw something was weird. She was hiding her ID card. She didn't want you to see her real name. Maybe she is their cousin, but they're hooking up. And so she had to have a different ID so no one finds out that they're actually cousins, Lord. I don't know. Wow. Either way, I keep seeing her apathetic. That's the energy. Almost like maybe a bit sulken. Sullen. Possibly depressed. Yeah. But I feel it's more like robotic. Like, like AI. Mm-hmm. Could really be, guys. Return it. So, it's like she scoped you out, even. Maybe someone is even AI generated, you know? These days, guys, I mean, people can... You see a whole profile of someone looks like a whole human being. It's all fake. <laughs> the pictures are all generated. AI generated. So... Yeah, see this woman, whoever this is, she was looking at you. It's giving me like, she feels jaded and like the best she can do is kind of find her redemption with these return the energy, ew. These frog men, frog masculines, however gender, by getting back at the women. Are you kidding? Ew, so she has, she had, see they scoped her out because she was kind of a fit for that cause. like. She was neither here nor there. How do we say? It's like, she, it's a little bit like power hungry. Um, she even thought at a certain point she was smarter than these dudes. Uh, this is what I hear. At a certain point, her head was getting real big thinking, you know, maybe I can even take them over. I don't know. This is just like at a certain point. It's giving me master how master mouse politics. It, yeah, because it's like, I feel like she, it's like she's like fungus energy and she just wants to, she keeps going Pac-Man. It's like, she doesn't even care if she's stepping on these guys, you know, kind of thing. So there's no real connection. And I do feel it's partly because of the drug use, largely um, because of the drug use. Unfortunately, it's very sad, you know, um, not being in your wit's mind about you. Not having, you know, you're enslaved to the drug you don't have consciousness you don't have a will right and so that's slavery right there and that's why i think these guys like they're not even doing i mean we're in so-called prescribed medication they're not even doing half of what they have her on so you see the energy it's like the people who are making money in these businesses is like these drug dealers they're not doing the drugs themselves it's like that's what the real message is here guys like some of you some of you you're too smart you didn't fall for something here okay but yeah, maybe it is like a commission thing. But in like uh, in, in underground industry, they were like, yeah, maybe you can get her hooked on this. Ew. Oh my God. Exactly. Right. Like no one's really looking after each other. I think that whoever this is, she had a, yeah, she thought mm -hmm. like she kind of felt kind of like she could take these guys over in the business She had, I don't know, I keep seeing this person with this blank robotic look on their face. Like, it's like a flat smile. It's like soda water that's gone flat. Just as a smile. And it's like, I'm hearing the name Hussein. It could be sociopathic even. Just, ew. In the crown chakra, I can't. This, is, this energy is way too dense. Is way too, uh... Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Return it. This person has all kinds of worms and infestations of their aura. Um, it's horrible. So I'm going to check out of that right there. It's looking a bit like a motel. 
of a situation with not enough keys to the same room, too many people staying there, and they I'm seeing something looking like algae green. There's some kind of algae growing on their aura. And the truth is they're all together in the same trap. But I think that at a certain point, what happened amongst these guys and this girl? Interesting. Guys, some of you, they are related. Yeah. They could have been hooking up. There could have been some serious uh, guys. Like, they could be doing... They could be... Yeah. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on in this. If it's a family, it's starting to sound like maybe blood... Rit it's beyond sex rituals. It's blood rituals. Blood bonding. And this is some weird shit. Some of you, this is even a child, a parent, like, God, what? I mean, this person is, like, programmed. It sounds like a cult from maybe a young age. So maybe that's why she's looking a little bit, like, flat. I don't know. I get that flat, like, random energy. I'm here in caucus. I don't know what that's about. I triggered Alex's itch. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Okay, I will itch it for you, doll. Yeah, maybe they're doing little sexual favors for each other, but they're like cousins or brothers or like... But in this fam... There's all this... This family is shrouded in this mystery. And this honestly just perversion. Okay, so whoever these people are, I'm hearing Matt. Like something is awkward as hell look at this magician with the moon i think they're related guys because i don't see them separated this is a mess i'm here in carlos oh no Something is going on with someone's liver. They're developing an issue with their liver. One of these people. I'm hearing something about Funyuns. Maybe their diet is not good. <laughs> oh, no. But, yeah. So, they got to, like, work on that. Some of you, I don't know, maybe in the recent years they had a diagnosis when it comes to their liver. They really don't have time to be focusing on anything but their health anymore. Something about pancreatitis. So... This person, though, is, it's like they're not, it's like I think they even maybe reconciled. They started to, uh, yeah, they started to, like, uh, supply her again is what I'm hearing. Oh, man. Some of you met this person at the gym. So, something about the USA. Yeah, they were in charge of her passport. Like, they confiscated all her private in documents. Something about Indian. This is a mess. See, because I'm here in Ava, Ava, because they're all related. And they're so deeply entrenched in every aspect of her life. I'm talking about this person who was trying to set you up. Who you don't see from way back, back uh, backstage. I'm here on Friday. Maybe you were going to hang out and you got a bad feeling and you're like, you know what? Nah. I see something about bowling. More like boring, maybe. Just clear it. Something about religion as well. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of weird stuff where there's siblings and they're doing stuff. I see them definitely kissing. And then I see um, they're with each other. They have a lot of little traps. Like um, she knows about that secret about me. And then I know about that. You know, it's there's so much darkness in this family from a very early, early age that... No, nothing is normal here. Some of you could even be a very privileged family is what I get. Some of you about a guitar. So they could be in even the spotlight. It's like 
I'm almost getting all they have is like each other. And then it kind of just, but then they all kind of want just to be on their own, even at the same time, but then they kind of depend on each other in many different ways. So this is a cycle, it's a cycle. So yeah, um, it could be a family business, but I see like one guy is not in it. Like, um, he's not on that drug or whatever that is or whatever this thing is. Um, but I think his fa either it's his in his family business and then she's on it anyways. I'm here in uh, um, Dominique. And I hear Vivian again. Viviana. Yeah, they could own like a family business. Yeah, I think she even got pregnant from him, guys. And this is her brother. I'm just saying. Oh, right there. The Okay. So there's another level to the, all of this. So with the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, I'm here in Af. Afghan hound. Guys, like, she's having sex with her brother. She got pregnant from her brother. Um, the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Guys, what is going on over here? We got the Ace of Swords as well. Holy shit. This could have been when she was really young. Like, when they were in, like, fourth or fifth grade. Oh my god. Like, maybe, yeah. Like, she, god forbid her brother, maybe even he was, I don't know, something happened here where he um, forced himself upon her at a very young age. I have a feeling this is probably not taking place in, like, a stand, I don't know. I, I see something not an American upbringing. But, anyways. So... It could be political. Like, she likes to be in the fate. She wants to be in the power seat. That's the energy I got. But I think that if she is a feminine amongst masculines in this family, they all kind of don't take her really seriously. And she doesn't really even know that. She, th While she thinks she's getting ahead, she's actually... It's like her paddle is moving backwards in the grander scheme of things. Do you see the energy? Tower. We talked about that in part one as well. Yeah, where she thinks she's screaming very loud. Or was it earlier in this room? But she's really whispering. But she thinks it sounds like something is ne Neptunianly focused. Now, the Ace of Cups with that, again, the drugs, uh, influence. And I hate to say that. I mean, this is not what we want to hear. I don't want to read on this. I don't know. I was elected, though, apparently, to read on this. So I'm going to read on it because uh, Spirit needs to read on this. So it's not a pleasant message. But someone, yeah, needs this to be known, apparently, um, to them more clearly. You probably have... Return in the heart chakra. Remember, was about Rockefeller? It's like giving me, oops, we already did it once. It's like, this family is tainted. Something is going on in the family, in the bloodline, uh, the root of this family from a very young age. And ever since then, it's like, it's almost like, you know, they want to keep her quiet even or something like that. So yeah, and she did get pregnant, guys. I do see that. Um, and it was when she was way, I mean, like young, young. This is... You know, they lived in the same household and maybe they were so young they didn't even know what they were doing. But yeah, she ended up getting pregnant from her brother. And then, uh, I don't know, does she keep the child? Some of you, there's, the child is around. Yeah. It's a young male. So ever since then, it's like they always have this like kind of strange connection even is what I'm hearing. Some of you, she pretends to be his friend. She's changed her ID and everything. She has a different name. She operates in society under a completely different identity. But you can feel something. I see someone with a firefighting or a crossing outfit. You can see this energy about her and him. If you ever did see them in the same room, you would definitely pick up on it. Something about pets. You would 100% feel something here in the air. The Seven of Swords is for the fourth time. So it's almost like, um, you know, yeah, uh, I'm here in Mary. Just clear. I'm here in Gazelle. 
Yeah, he even made some strange commentary about her and like slapped her leg or her thigh and you thought that was a little too weird, you know, for um yeah, like just a friend or whatever. Uh yeah, so Okay guys. We'll take a break, we'll come back, um return it. Anything else? Yeah. They could have been secretly hooking up since they were very young. I see that. Maybe it was like many, many times. It sounds like there wasn't teaching in this household. It sounds like whoever this guy is didn't have proper boundaries. I'm seeing red and white. So, and then everyone is wondering like, who is this woman who's always around us? Like, why is she always around? I don't know, because the family, maybe the other, they wanted to shield the other family members. Although I think by now they do know, but they wanted to shield them temporarily from the truth. And so they were acting like this is not, that this is their cousin or this is, it's not, oh no, it's not your sibling, it's your cousin or something like that. Or your friend, you know, I don't know, or maybe amongst the cousins, you know, the farther family, they, oh no, this is just their friend, but it was really, um, it was really another uh, child, I hear that, from them, or something like that, guys. Um, it was not properly, this is a shunned relationship, definitely. Um, and now it's turned into some weird political motive, and then it's turned into some situation with uh, money and drugs and all of this shit. So it sounds like there's a lot of different um, theories as well circulating, and it's like no one knows what's going on, but they can all feel something, and they're sort of putting their finger on it, but no one is really, really where it's at. And I think it's because it hides in, in this connection right here between these two people. I'm here in Brandon. Hi, can you shut the fuck up? Because we're on a message right now. I'm talking to the troll. You know we're getting your message out and you know it. Okay, so sit down. Sans keyboard. Someone here is even a director of a movie. Some of you, they even went, they did, they fully accepted this twisted life. And what they did is they created a subcultural world, cleared in the crown chakra, where they now maybe even film porn with this or whatever this is, you know, and whatever else. And so they wanted, they're using this as a blackmail loop though okay whatever this is this deep dark family secret okay as a, a a blackmailing situation where you know once you know and that's why if you do not interact with this person it's much better but it, you know it, it, yeah if you do know then you become a liability for them and there's all kinds of really awkward uh, integrated energy here. So we don't want to know. Yeah, devil and mm -hmm, return the energy. I think there could possibly even be an STD circulating in the family. So with the devil and re. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm just not even going to say half the things I'm hearing. But yeah, I mean, like, she could have been pregnant and then she was so something. I mean, there's no boundary here. I mean, I'm even seeing, this is a, a reading with that woman in the dining room who was walking around and then you took note of it. You were like, that's kind of weird. Like something happened. It was a mafia household. Yeah. Every, return. Mm -hmm. It was a Virgo reading. I think it was the zoot suit. Yeah. And you thought something was off about their connection it was a young girl the minute she walked into the room you could tell something was off yeah i got chills there something is not right about that right there there was a moment you read the body language mm -hmm. the way they hugged or the way they kissed it was something like too intimate i'm here in dallas someone is always flying around flying out and then secretly they're meeting up with this person. They have to live their double life in another city. I'm hearing that too many people know them around this town. I see a cockroach, makes me think of a motel. I'm mean, hearing that song Taylor Swift. Let's get out of this town. Da -da 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 -da. I'm hearing something Tyler. 
Now, the death card with the emperor, yeah. So it's like even the father, you know, I see the Turkish uh, flag symbol here. Even the father of this family, it's like something is going on, yeah. How would the querent know who this is? Although I think you would know <laughs> who this is. So let's see. They're pretending they have to leave the city because of a storm. But it's like, then you always realize, like, it's always these two missing. Just clear it. <laughs> Some of you, they're like performers. They could be a family performer, like a band. Uh, let's see. I hear something about Janet Jackson. The Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Again, the Six of Cups in reverse. Amirindoli. D-O-L-E. Again, I hear something about Brooklyn here. There are four people in this family is what I got. Oh man. I mean, we're in Jordan. There's this, it's the young guy who is, oh right, the Jackson Five. Interesting. So it's a young guy who maybe is kind of like a playboy in this, whoever this young guy is, who's in the middle. He's kind of like a play, he's a playboy of the family. Return the crown. I mean, we're in Cramel, Cramel, Cramel. I don't know what that means. Kremel. Maybe it's again another language. Kremel. Maybe they even have their own little secret language, guys. I don't know. For everybody. Yeah, they have. It's like the dialect is in their family. It's like it's not the neighborhood. It, they, their family has its own dialect. But I think they do speak a language other than English. That's my hunch. I mean, we're in Kravitz. What's going on with all the musicians and the artists here? Entertainment. So I see something about eggs, deviled eggs, and cucumber slices. Hmm, sounds kind of good. Okay, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Maybe, I don't know, you ate that one time with them. I'm here in Bill. Now, Yeah, you were very hungry. Um, maybe it's like one of those moments where anything sounds good or tastes good. But yeah, maybe that's your message. The Knight of Cups. Some of you, this guy's a playboy. He's kind of cute. He could be a Gemini. He's small. He's cute. He's compact. He's like young, very young. Or at the time he was very young. I repeat, this is like her boyfriend kind of. But it's... It's her cousin or her brother or something again, right? So to reiterate, and some of you here, they have a actually a pretty significant age difference with the Six of Cups in reverse. But see, he kind of, this is twisted because it's like he also feels like he has to be faithful to her. This is some psychology thing over here with between the two of them. It's something where he feels, emo it, and I think, I really think it's because of the young the young age at which this started at which this began, you know, this, um, I am even hearing infidelity, so I don't know exactly. Some of you, it went, they went against the wishes of their, no, no, the parents were oh, aware of what was going on. I'm seeing something about seafood here. I see the Amalfi Coast here. They felt better to keep our family as our own little unit, and they don't really care the, yeah, they don't really care if these if the siblings are completely. They prefer to keep. Did you see that? The whole screen just went black. They prefer to keep 
Um, this is giving me that reading with the zoot suit guy and how the lights, yeah, the lights on the on the front lawn and you were creeped out. Even the woman with the blinds who was closing the blinds. Oh, the tree that you're not aware of. And it's like, you feel that all you know is they just don't want to interact with you and like talk. And it was maybe hurtful actually. But the point is that this is something very twisted and it's beyond the capacity of anyone really to really figure out because there's so many loopholes here, like we said, I think that this person you're dealing with, if it's your so-called friend or whoever this, this integrator, this integrator is of the Queen of Swords energy, uh, this, the, how do we say, the interlocutor between you and this other guy, um, which again, I don't think you suspect, they, um, they're, um, they're, uh, how do we say, they have another ID, you don't even know the real name is what I'm hearing. I thought this said Saudi Arabia. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, so that's definitely a message. Something about Saudi Arabia. I see even the parents thought even better. You know, like they want you guys to be, it's something, it's giving me dynastic rulership where you, yeah, I see these three guys looking a bit like thugs walking in the, in the, uh, and down the street and then I see this car now the car's leaving the guy who was staggering back and forth it's a big white Escalade car all right guys yeah I see this long dinner table that there we go with that vision again and they're all sitting around it and it's like they're passing the dishes around very awkwardly you feel like they're all playing chess right around you <laughs> But it's like you feel like you don't have a valid piece. However, you feel tied to the outcome of whatever this interaction is. And it's very, very uncomfortable, I think, if you ever did interact with all of them at the same time. I'm hearing Vore, Vori, something about pigs. I hear something about Cleopatra as well. So yeah, it could be a past life energy as well. Take it as you will something's fishy i see that like maybe literally there was we said something about swordfish i do see fish at a long dining table and i see that you're looking around and you're realizing they're in cahoots and the thing is that even if i do know that about them i don't even know really who they are and i know enough of who they're not to know that that's not who they are who they tell me so you start to realize that well um well you start yeah you start to piece together your your value that you make of all of this from what it is that you can humbly recognize you don't yet know that you don't have all the pieces to and i think that the important thing here is that you don't try to figure out anyone here who is not openly being willfully honest and transparent with you because there's clearly something off going on and very fishy um it's about your ability to perceive rather than predict, I hear as well, rather than um, prove, you know? We, we, we don't need to prove our intuition and that's where it's very, very, um, maybe uncomfortable, but important, okay? And it's, and it's about um, your acknowledgement and 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 how do we say um your approval your own approval of what it is that you're picking up on here your own perspective that counts your own perception um your account of things it could potentially be that there's something you feel you need to even you know that you have evidence for and however maybe you got out of the situation you saw enough and not too much to the point where you could get out of the situation i hear as well i don't know exactly what to what extent we're talking whatever's going on in this family or however but it's about your vulnerability with yourself you know where you find these people so shrouded in their shadow where do you compromise with yourself and say i'll be the piece where they cannot find much but drama you know they, they are not able so i will be able this is a very particular message for someone maybe you are even in this family and you have to be very brave 
to ex to excavate yourself from this and extinguish the contract as best you can because it's very sticky. I do think it's about going neutral. We were talking about that the other day. And I think that it's about um, really nullifying any sort of concerns that you have about the situation because you're actually not involved. But sometimes you may feel that you're sort of um, invested maybe emotionally, but it really doesn't matter is what I'm hearing. Okay, so um, it's not your problem. And that's where we don't want to invest in the curiosity energy, okay, about someone who is not, um, we'll say it again, willfully, okay, honest, right? If we have to pull the truth out of someone, we probably won't be getting the truth. So in some of you here, I see something about a garden. I do believe that it's about recognizing who you are at the inverse, where it is that you can find your honor in this situation. You know, maybe there's something, yeah. So it's, wow, a very big test of your ego, you know, for some, it's very hard. It's very challenging. Um, maybe you'll lose some fake friends, you know, but we'll reiterate, you're going to see true colors here. I see something about a pool again. I keep seeing a pool and like swimming or something like that. Um, some of you, you stepped away in the nick of time. You stepped away. You were guided, but you stepped away and, and you did not get involved. You dismissed this advancement and it could have been a test. You chose not to partake in this and you separated. Okay, and, and, and uh, you're no longer, you, you decided not to form a partnership with this person. Also, in general, I mean, the karma is not good that is associated with this family. And if it's not by blood, it is a family karmically speaking. What else? Yeah, I think you just kind of cleared this out. And I think that that's what spirit is encouraging you to continue to do. Um, This could be something you have been through already and spirit is confirming that you made the right decision and that their karma is coming um the karma is related to neptune and pluto is what i feel hi isaac mm. i'm here in 80s maybe this started around the 80s um or something was very particular in this connection in the 80s so, yeah, I would keep your life private and separate from these people. And um, because they do want to sabotage, uh, ultimately, if we're looking at it from a galactic standpoint, you do have good karma. You do have a real soulmate who's coming in. You've got... Uh, twin flame, some of you is what I'm hearing. You have someone who is a very high level soulmate, but we have to be able to discern and distinguish who's who. Um, and I feel like, yeah, that heartthrob energy, right? Because I see that with the page of cup, knight of cups. So, um, and if that's not a real a family member, it's a it's some it's an ex that he's still attached to, and it's I, you know, the weird thing is it's some um, he is kind of like her minion. And that's the weirdness of it is that it's this delusion. It's this Russian doll of delusion. One after the other where one person thinks they figured out that other person. And that other person thinks they figured out that person. And then there's another person who thinks that they've, you know, it's like where he thinks now nah, she's my minion. It's like actually he's her minion. And they're both each other's, it's this enmeshing of slavery contracts. And I think that they're going to both fall into that hole that they dug you know, the pit, they're both collapsing in the same karmic um, case, the file. They're, they're both going to be wound up with this. Uh, it could be something legal. I'm not sure. Maybe you're, you know what this is. And it's like, how far do I go with exposing? Return it 
down the list of I'm hearing something about Brandy, Brandon. I'm hearing Scarlet. I'm hearing Irish. Spirit is saying the way you know who your person is is you feel safe, safe around them. Clear in the crown. They, they, that they are safe. You'll never feel unsafe around your long-term partner. I'm here in MJ. That makes me think of Michael Jackson. Now, um, safety. I keep hearing that over and over and over again. So that's how you know that you found your person is that you feel safe with them. Yeah. And it is about um, surrender, guys. It's about honor. I'm hearing that. Uh, honoring your intuition. Um, no matter what the predicament, you know? If I'm honest with myself, but then I lose this fake friend or I lose what I think I'm losing, you know, yeah. Um, that person was never in your reality to begin with. What's real, what's real is what's is what's reflecting your truth. Right? So think about that one maybe for a bit because um it's never going to be one-sided and this is about choosing a portal, choosing a high vibrational yeah, yeah, the high priestess. Choosing your halo over the ground territory i hear it like that of the of the matrix and i see many of you yeah this is scorpio's read birthing a portal if you yeah this is huge guys sounds like this is an ancient slavery contract that you're like breaking from really big times returning the crown chakra yeah but they're testing all of your weak points here with this particular person it sounds like you know Except for that one factor. Oh, he has everything except for it's that one thing. And again, I hear from Spirit that it's safety in the crown. Spirit is saying, you live in an imperfect, perfect universe. Um, there's no such thing as, I'm going to settle. Spirit didn't settle on you. You come from source. <laughs> you're not of the 3D and then from source. You're from source. And thus you have... I mean, we remained on the 3D. You exist on a hard plane, simultaneous with the 3D, but the 3D is what proliferates from that higher dimensional code, a value, right? A value subset. You know, you are not to settle, but if you settle for settling, then you have settled with yourself too soon, too easily, when it comes to what it is you actually need to negotiate with the matrix on, with your ego on, with your own shadow on. It's like, and this is your generational karma contract that you have bid to. You said, I want to break this contract. And you invested in this before you came to this timeline. You said, this is what I want to tackle. And so you took on some, yeah, of a contract here and you know, you know who you are. I hear it like that. Without the reflection with another person. And so it's not about who they are and then who you are. It's about how you feel. And again, another taxi. Your, um, it's your feeling here that's really important of safety i hear it again so look less at through this through that they're uh also i'm hearing helping me find myself or they're whatever that means shaping me no like we'll never find that person your soulmate's not going to be that person where you go oh my god like i feel this way about myself now you know Safety as well is not a state of, oh my God, you know, this is so scary and this person is going to save me from that. Safety is more, I am here in a state of passivity 
where I can love another person and I know they love me too. And we're not needing to have tension to understand why we've, why we've been paired in this way together. Safety is peace. Knowing that you don't have to do anything at any point in time to be anyone in particular or anywhere in particular, any particular point in time in order to keep up with this sense of, um, honestly, complacency. So soulmate love and happiness, whatever we think that is, is nowhere close to when you meet a divine partner who makes you feel safe. In other words, keeps you in neutral. Okay, it's like carbon neutral. You know, we there's no real impact, let's say, you know? It's like that's the soulmate, that's the twin flame. Everything else is of the matrix. Everything else is going to be more the trigger, more the karma. And you will decide when you check out. And it really is about liberating okay, a part of yourself within yourself to awaken, wow, the star right there, <clears throat> to your higher purpose and calling as well. Because the people that we associate ourselves with, and especially that we date and that we're physical with especially, so they really impact us and they determine where on the grid we, we are at. So when we elevate internally, intrinsically, and we decide I don't settle for the matrix when it comes to my partner, however, and you hold them to that standard, then, well, yeah, then you start to cultivate patience around your own cause. And with that comes intention in your life that then is a signal to spirit that alongside your cause, you want to invite similarly other people into your life who reflect as well that cause so there's no way that let's say your love life would ever be separate truly from your soul path calling okay and that's how you know you know your soulmate's never going to deter you or like similarly make you figure out your soul cause of life you know that's just not going to be everybody has their own soul calling even if you meet your twin flame you're never like one person will not be that other person's mentor right it's not gonna work like that the twin flame connection or the high level soulmate connection is there's one what that would be like oh yeah pay your way to ascension all you need is someone to come across to come across and that person will give you the keys that's just not how ascension works it's something very private very personal 11 11 right there the portal <clears throat> That's the Scorpio read. I'm seeing an olive branch tree. You know, you, um, an olive tree, but I don't know, I'm here an olive branch tree. You have gifts that you will liberate once it is that you activate the appreciation you have for that potential, that um, capacity. It's like, if you have the seed, but you don't plant it, well, it's all about what you do with your gifts. And so part of that is who you associate with. And also part of that is who it is that you emit to the universe. I want to associate more with this type of person because it's a choice. And that's the thing about alchemy and you is that you're optimizing your reality by way of not magic. What's magic? You are the magic by way of your perspective and remembering that the currency really is held in that reservoir of your perspective, how you decide, because it's a decision to change your perspective as well. You know, it takes time. There's a lot of karma that could be involved when it comes to being able to do such a thing and elevate and be able to leave that matrix. Okay. And leave those rooms, you know, it's really hell. Like that's hell matrix energy the 3d and um, you know we were not supposed to migrate here guys uh yeah we weren't uh, we were not this is not supposed to be habitable but what happened is people made a decision to honor what is not honorable and so as lightworkers guys we also remember that we did incarnate here to this planet i'm seeing the number two in order to prove that theory wrong so it's always free will. 
However, that's the inherent soul print of why we star seeds have incarnated because we're here to reiterate the higher dimensions and wavelengths of what can be return it of what be of what already is always always is and again hence it's the perspective it's like being in a flea market thinking there's only two stands but lo and behold there are like 10 other stands with much more fruits or whatever they're selling there at much better prices. And it's like, that's a whole nother world, but no one's talking about it. No one has shifted their perspective. And that's really what it's like. That 3D, the matrix is like, everyone's just hooked on these two little stands. It's 3D, it's very primal, it's very, but you know, they got sold on it. And so star seeds and light workers, I repeat, you know, they have incarnated to be able to sort of enlighten these people as to, you know, the limited consciousness space, okay? And how there needs to be change as well. This is a, you know, this is quite awkward over here, whatever this is, you know, this change or whatever that needs to be made. There is something that definitely needs to happen. It is happening, but the air of Aquarius, many people here are gonna be waking up and realizing, hey, you know, I can make this change ever more. You know, in more ways than one. Return it. Yeah, this is... I think that you have a contract, a past life contract with this family or whatever. I'm here an agent. Where in a past life, maybe you were like somehow feeding their cause. It sounds like something of a cult or something. Could be politics. I'm here in brethren, brethren. Anyways, you in this lifetime, it's like this is where you break free. And you use your talents for you. And whatever this relationship though is, see this person I think is the last link to this world for you. This era of Capricorn that we have left behind. And so it's kind of nostalgic. And I think that though once you do leave this conversation and you forego this contract and you decide now, you know what, I'm good. I'm a free and sovereign being. I don't have to be with someone who makes me feel I'm settling. And again, that's the only way you'll know is the honesty you have with yourself where you feel, am I safe or am I settling? I hear it like that, okay? When you step away from this person, you're going to feel that this feels like a big deal and that you're, you know, in some ways you feel like, oh my God, am I sabotaging? That's fear. And that's not safety. It's not, I love this person. I don't have any reason to separate from them. It's why, why would I want to leave someone like this? That's not love. Um, you know, that's not love at all. It never was, it never will be. But the people here who are on this matrix are deluded to believe that that is actually love. And so um, I'm hearing something about Justin Bieber. I don't know what that's about. The devil in reverse. Yeah, like some of you here, you're waking up. Maybe this is a family you've known these people for a very, very long time. And you're suddenly starting to see the reality that is of these people. And it's like, no, I don't want to have any part of this with the fool and the star. So, uh-huh. And it's, it's about um, your awakening, okay? You waking up to you lightening the energy load, okay? You um, being available to extend yourself. You can only do so if you are in a space of levitation from your own shadow. If you're in a space of full acceptance, of embracing your change that you come to make here on this planet. Return it in the crown chakra down the left side of the body in the crown. Yeah, this is about, um, you know, uh, making peace with the things that we as an ego consciousness don't want to necessarily let go of but we know in our heart we have come to release and we will find our ultimate salvation in our higher chakras um there when we do i'm hearing 